history, you know, on you know, my book tour, tour, another book tour, tour giving the knowledge out to my people. And, and I, I, I had already decided, decided that I was coming to Dallas, but before leaving this, you know, police shooting already happened, so I was already decided, so I don't know, I guess it's just, you know, the spiritual was just telling me it was the right place to come before. But I, before this police shooting, shooting occurred, occurred, I had already decided that I was coming to Dallas. Yeah, and I'm going to tell you something. 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 First, I want to let you guys, look, look you got to really look at some things, because, say for instance, the holiday just passed, in Independence Day, in Independence Day, it's just really based on, say, George Washington and the Americans fighting against their oppressor, Britain, and we celebrate that, we tell them they're right, you get it? But when an African fights back, it's wrong. But every, but every time, time a European fights back, back against his oppressor, he's right. right. But, but soon as an African tries to fight back, why, why is that? So, so we got to start, start questioning our mindset. Our, 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 our thoughts are our own thoughts because it doesn't, doesn't even make sense to what you're thinking about. You feel me? You got to really question, question your thoughts. Are you saying one person is right and then you're saying another person is wrong, but doing the same exact fucking thing? In fact, we celebrate and make holidays about it. It doesn't, it doesn't make, make sense. sense. Question, question your thoughts. Question, question everything you are thinking. I'm telling you this because sometimes, sometimes people, people out here are programmed and they, they don't even, they're, they're not questioning, questioning anything. anything. All, right, All right, that's why I tell you. Be curious. Curiosity. Be stay a child. You get what I'm saying? The children, I'm not going to teach children, children in life. The the video uh, the audio was not very good. Sorry about that. But uh, anyway. I wonder if Homie would have uh, done what he did if he realized that the first part of Cran 424 says, Forbidden to you are married. The reason why I'm saying this is because supposedly the guy was a black Muslim, a, a, a Nation of Islam member. And if that's true, if, I don't know if it's true or not, but if it's true, I wonder if he know, if, if he knew, I think he's dead. If you knew about the first part of Quran 424 that says forbidden to you are married women, you can't have sex with married women. Except, that's the key word here, making it so you can have sex with married women. Except what your right hand possess. In other words, your slave. You know. I also wonder. I also wonder if uh, Homie knew about um, Quran 2 verse 1. 78, which says, which says the slave for the slave. In other words, if someone kills your slave, you can kill their slave. So, you know, where's the right of the slave, you know? I also wonder if Homie knew that the Quran, I mean, he's talking about questioning questioning, you know what I mean? So, I wonder if he ever questioned the Quran, if he really was a black Muslim. If you ever question the Quran, especially the part where it says that if you are headed toward uh, parad uh, toward the hellfire, you'll turn black, and if you are headed toward paradise, you'll turn white. You know, I wonder if he knew that. I also want to know. <laughs> I also want to know if he knew that Muhammad was a white guy who owned slaves, and one of the slaves he owned was a guy, a black, a black guy named Bilal. I wonder if he knew that. So anyway. I guess we'll never know. Bye.